Okay, so this is a immature snow goose that we shot yesterday. Uh, we just dressed it in the field just by gutting it and you have to leave one wing attached. Obviously this is a snow goose, but the rule says you do have to leave one wing attached. So I'll just show you how to start cleaning the bird. Uh, first thing we do is we cut the, the wings off because they get kind of in the way. So at this bend here, this is just a flap of skin. You're just gonna cut down through there and then bend back right at the joint. And then you can just cut the remainder of the way through the joint. Do that on both sides. Garbage. Okay, so you can do this with a whole bird that's not gutted. It, it, the technique is the same, but these are just gutted because we left them overnight. So we're just gonna start by making a cut under the skin, right on the top of the breast here, and you're just gonna peel it away. And these birds peel beautifully because they're super fat. Um, Canada's in the early season are a little bit tougher to peel. They do still peel. You just sometimes you have to kind of encourage it along, just like skinning the deer, you know, making little cuts. But a nice fat bird, especially a cold bird, is really easy to, to skin and this will allow you to get as much meat as possible. So just going up the neck here, just gonna cut that a little bit. And I like to leave the necks on just because it's a bit of a handle for peeling them, especially on a bird that's harder to, to peel. And just cut the skin there. And we're just gonna flip the bird over and then just peel down the back side here over the wings. The skin tears, it's not a big deal. The wings can sometimes be tricky to skin. This one is a little tricky. Sometimes you can just get your thumb in there and it'll go. But I find, especially in the fall, the Canada's, it's a bit challenging. See these, these are the feathers here. The, the secondary flight feathers are kind of get hung up. So a little cut there just to get underneath those feathers and then it'll peel off really nicely. Sometimes the Canada's, the armpit is a little bit tricky and you just use your knife there a little bit. And because the wings are cut off at the joint, they just peel straight off. Lovely like that. And we're just gonna continue down both sides. And we're gonna try to retain a lot of this fat because we grind a lot of the goose up for ground goose, use it for hamburgers. I got some in the, in the dish right now. We're gonna have hamburgers tonight with it. Uh, anything you'd use ground beef for, you can use ground goose for. <clears throat> but it's a little lean, so we try to retain as much fat as possible in order to grind that in so you don't have to add fat. If I'm going to add fat, I usually add beef fat, but it doesn't matter. It's your choice. I have added bacon, which is really nice for hamburgers, to grind that in. So this, all this fat that's attached to the skin, I'm going to go afterwards and just take some of it off. And again, these, these wing feathers are a little bit of a challenge, not a big deal. I'm just using a fish filleting knife. I find that's the easiest. So I just made a little nick there so I could get my fingers underneath. And again, peeling it all off. Oops, I'm tearing a bit. That's okay though. You can get it all off in just one big piece. It's not a big deal if you don't. See how beautifully that tears. Just gonna put that there. And then we're gonna continue, because these guys are so fat, the feathers are kind of in the fat a little bit, so I just cut the fat a little on these just to get that skin started again. Oops. And just peel all the way down to the feet. The feet we cut off in the field. You would do that here back in the kitchen too. Oops. Nice fat bird. So we're just gonna cut right, peel right down to the to the tail and then we just leave it. Leave the tail in place because at the base of the tail is the preening gland. And you don't want to cut into that. So that's enough right there. See there's the preening gland. Those two little nubbins. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that skin aside. You can throw it away, but I'm going to hang on to it because I want to take the fat off. So now we'll just take off these little feathers that are kind of stuck. And if there's any shot holes that have feathers stuck into them, you can just pluck those out before you get too busy. Okay, so next we're gonna take off the, the breast meat. And this is what most people uh, know for geese is they just take the breasts, but really you're gonna lose 
um, a lot of the meat if you don't do everything. So if this was a whole bird, the skin here would be still over the abdomen. And then after I take everything off, then I go into the abdomen and I get the liver and the heart. And sometimes the gizzard, I'll take the gizzard. So we just cut right along, this is the keel, right along the keel on one side, right against the bone. And that's why the filleting knife is nice. Go right along that flat bone. And then this part here, you want to angle your knife. This is the equivalent of their collarbone. You're going to angle the knife so it sort of goes underneath that so you can get that all that meat. If you just cut straight down, you're going to leave a big chunk of meat on, on the bird. You can get it afterwards, but this is easier. So we go right down to where it joins up with the wing. And we're going to cut it off the wing. So, and then we're just going to pick off any feathers. And this here, there's a little bit of meat left behind. We can get this as well. Just where my, my knife didn't make it right to the end. There's a little nub, nubbin of meat there. Same thing on the other side. Right against the bone. If you're doing a lot of birds, you probably have to sharpen your knife part way through because you are cutting right against the bone. This part here, you want to get it all off. I've seen people breast birds and they don't even get the whole breast off. It's just a real waste. So, so again, your knife in at an angle and because it's on the other side, it's a little bit of a different posture, but I'm just angling my, my knife right along the bone so that it tucks underneath that. And the rest. <clears throat> and we'll, uh, because it's got some shots in that, this would be the, a breast that we would grind, but if it's a nice big breast, then you can just, I make pastrami out of it. Um, just freeze it whole, use it for kebabs bacon wrapped, whatever you want. So again, a little bit of meat right here. I'm just going to take that out. Okay, next we do the wings. And there's a lot of meat on the wings. And the reason why we skin the bird is so we can get all that meat off of it. Just get that feather out of the way. So I just take my knife and I run it away from me and then I cut off right about there so that you don't have to trim that tendon that gets kind of caught up in the grinder and then I'm just going right down against the wing along the back and I'm going to flip my blade flat against the back right along the equivalent of their um, shoulder blade and put that in that's going to melt around and then this little bit of fat here we want to make sure we get that they've got a nice fat pad underneath their armpit and then there's a little piece on the shoulder here, like on a Canada, that can be quite a big piece. This is a bit of a smaller bird, this snow goose. So. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to go up the, the wing bone first, and then we're going to cut off right about there just so that that tendon stays behind. Down to the back part of the wing. And it just sort of comes off as an L. Go down and then flat. And then just run your knife right along the back of the bird. And that's all meat. I, my, my angle's a bit bad there, so I'm just gonna take that other little piece there. And if you didn't get a good angle on the, the collarbone, which is their wishbone actually, um, you can go back now and trim that off if you left some behind. Sometimes that bone is fractured and you, you don't want any little bone chips in your meat, that's really annoying. So next are the legs. And all you have to do with the legs is just hold onto the goose and you're going to pop that hip joint out of the socket there. And then the muscle attaches up here. That's called the oyster on a chicken or a turkey. That muscle there. We're going to go flat against that. Right against the body here. And then just pull away, angle it away as you cut the joint. And you cut it all the way down. Now I left a little bit of skin when I, in feathers when I peeled that off. So we're just going to cut that off so I don't throw all those feathers in the bowl. And then we'll trim up this after we do all the birds. Get ready to grind it. Um, I often grind the legs, but they're really nice, especially these snow goose legs. You just do them in a casserole dish like that. And anything you would use a chicken recipe for, you can use for a goose recipe. Same recipe, except you just want to add a little bit more moisture, so a little bit more water to it, a little more dilute sauce, and cover it and cook it slower. You can do any recipe you want with goose that was your favorite with chicken. So 
sorry, I can't see that wing is in the way. So I just, again, pop that out of the joint and then I'm cutting it right against the body. And they're actually a little bit nicer when, when they haven't been gutted ahead of time because they don't flop around as much. So this is that little pesky bit of feathers that didn't come off when I was peeling the bird. So I'm just gonna cut it off there. And we try it, we wanna keep all this fat because this fat is great and deer fat it's kind of gamey and you're always wanting to peel off all the fat possible, but goose fat is actually quite tasty. And when I have excess fat, I actually render it down. It's called goose butter and I use it for cooking. So at this point, um, if the bird hadn't been gutted, um, I'm just going to grab some scissors. It does still have its heart in. So at this point, what I do is if the, the guts are still in place, then I make a little nick right here to sort of pull up the skin, make a little nick. And then I go in with a pair of scissors and right where it goes from this keel to the ribs, right in here, we just cut that down with some kitchen scissors. And then you would just peel that up and then there's a great big heart in there. And we grind that in with the ground meat, it's a nice big heart. And then uh, there's a lot of fat in the abdomen here. So I'm just gonna cut that out. I don't uh, keep the abdominal fat if the bird's been gut shot or if, um, the, you know everything's macerated in there but look at all that beautiful fat so we'll grind that in and we'll not have to add any fat at all any beef fat at all to this goose so it's pretty much it so basically a skeleton and how long did that take five minutes 12 minutes total okay so and I was talking a lot I'll move um, a lot faster the next two like there's the, the next are great if you want to make stew um, give them to the dog um, sometimes I keep them this one I'm not going to well done